Okay, hello everybody. Okay, this is going to be a read on Ira Briscoe. It's an updated read. I've been asked by family members to do this updated read. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take a sip of water before we get going. Okay, so I'm going to ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when we go live and do updated reads. And please share this out where you can. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is um, an updated read. I did a previous read, I believe, on Ira. I'm not sure how long ago it was, but it will be in the video section, the video tab up top on my YouTube uh, page. So if you want to look for that or I may link that in the description below. So what we know is the last time he was seen was in December of 2020 and um, he was reported missing in December 2020. I don't remember what came out in the last read um, but I, I do know that apparently he used to talk to his mom almost every day or whatnot but they didn't hear from him and when they went to find him they couldn't find him <coughs> sorry my allergies are through the roof we've been having a lot of rain in that lately so please forgive me for my cough so we are going to do a little bit of a different read and see what we can get regarding ira what any any more information that we can get regarding him maybe what happened what we should be looking for etc maybe help close in on maybe who was responsible maybe where he could be anything that spirit can give us this is going to be a little bit of a different read than what you're used to seeing but i believe that this one could bring out the most information Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so in the center is going to be the overall nature of the situation. We've got enlightenment and redemption. So what I am seeing here as the overall nature of the situation regarding Ira was there was something about some kind of penance needed needed to be either given or gotten um, some kind of forgiveness so it, it's some kind of redemption it's talking about redemption so either he was looking for redemption for something or somebody was coming for redemption um, i've also got the in, enlightenment which talks about innovation and inspiration so i believe that um there was something that had transpired that either he felt he needed redemption he needed redemption for or somebody came for redemption towards him um i'm feeling more of the lines that somebody came at him Re the redemption also stands for like something of absolute so it's like it, it, this was going to be dealt with the day that he went missing this was going to be dealt with i feel like somebody came for him um wanting some kind of redemption or something almost like they felt that they were done wrong to so that's the overall situation so i do feel like somebody came for him okay so in the next position we're going to have um the back 
background influences that created the situation. I've got our internal youth. I've got outsider. And I've also got the resurrection in reverse. Okay, so what this, what this means is like... I feel like whoever did this to Ira and involving Ira, I feel like there was something new that had came about. So I said here that somebody came more or less for redemption and I don't, and I'm also getting that there was nothing that Ira could have done to apologize or this, this person feels like Ira did something to him. This person is also telling me here in these cards is that there was nothing that Ira could do to redeem himself. Like he was out for absolution, which is he was there for one specific purpose and one only. I feel with the um, resurrection in reverse, there was no um, reprise. There was no coming back from what he felt Ira did. Okay. Now I also got the outsider, which tells me that this, this person could be also a wanderer, a loner, a misfit, somebody like that. And I've also got eternal youth, which tells me about this was um, a new energy. So something new. So this is something that had popped up recently. So I believe that whoever did this to Ira, um, and I do believe he's crossed over. That's the, the energies I'm getting. The reason he did this is he had a beef with Ira. There was something that he could not come back from, okay? In the upright, when you get the resurrection, this talks about a reprise and recovery and a comeback. There was no coming back from it. This guy was out for absolute. Take that however you want it. To me, it comes as he had something in his mind set and he wasn't gonna change his mind. He was out to get his revenge on Ira. Um, now this could be something that he feels, I, I'm getting the feel like this is something that Ira did or said regarding this person personally that affected this person's life or would affect his life. And that's why he had to take Ira out because Ira was going to mess his life up with whatever this is, either whatever Ira was going to say or do was going to mess this guy's life up horribly and there was no coming back from it. He knew what he had to do to get rid of the problem that was going to mess his, with his life or mess his life up. <clears throat> so this was something pretty bad that Ira, I feel Ira knew about something or was involved with something or seen something that happened or is a witness to something. I'm, that's the lines that I'm getting. Um, and I've got, this was something fairly new. And um, this person was also not somebody that, I believe Ira knew the person, but it's not somebody that he would want to associate with and call, you're my friend. Like you have acquaintances and you have friends. So I believe Ira knew the person, but he's not the type of person that Ira wanted to be like good friends with. I think he knew this guy's character and he wasn't fond of it but this this guy whoever did this to ira um there was no coming back from it he wasn't giving ira the chance to make things right or to change his mind on something but i feel like he felt ira could ruin his life and that's why ira was taken out okay so over here we got um the immediate causes okay a cry for help sacrifice and knowledge so now this even solidifies this for me more so he the reason he did this is I, uh, ira had knowledge of something that this person either said or did and it scared this person because if ira would make it known or come forth with information it could change this guy's life okay so the sacrificing was that was what had to happen. He had to sacrifice. Like, remember what I said here? There was no coming back from this. Um, so he sacrificed Ira, okay? The call for help, need to need to reach out, need for backup, admit 
So I do believe that there is somebody else that is involved in this situation also. Okay. So over here, we're going to have the enemy, any obstacles and challenges. Okay. The hunter, natural, and anti-hero. So the anti-hero is like a rule breaker, a risk taker. Natural talks about being real and or, or organic. And the hunter, aggressor, and, a, and an, um, the hunter stands for an aggressor, somebody who's tracking you, um, somebody who's going to give you repercussions, okay? So I believe that he did hunt down Ira, and I think the threat against him was real from Ira. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry for the cough, you guys, but... The anti-hero, it's like, no, buddy, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to ruin my life. So this is this is what it was. I think he was hunted down or he was brought to his, into meeting with this guy where this guy took action against him. And like I said, there was no coming back at that point. There was no coming back from what this guy intended to do with Ira. And I do believe now I have heard... Um, I remember the last reading, there was also um, comments that the roommate is also missing of Iris. And I do believe that they were both targeted. And I believe it's because Iris shared information that he had learned with the roommate. So that's why I believe they were both targeted. And I do believe they are both gone from the physical world. Okay, so... This is going to be the attitudes right now that's needed to get the information and to figure out who this person is. But I do believe that Ira knew him, but he wasn't the type of person that Ira wanted to associate with, but Ira knew him. He was an acquaintance type thing, not a good friend. Okay, so the attitudes that are needed now to find out more information regarding this, we get the ecstasy. Talks about the rapture and, bl and bliss. Compassion. Talks about empathy and, and kindness. And a pa the past of prison. The bitterness, the grudges, the refusals to let go. So with this, I believe that the person that you are looking for is somebody who's, like I said, with Ira. This is not going to be, I think this is going to be somebody who's feared more than liked, okay? So people deal with this guy, not because they like him, but because they fear him. So, and this is going to be somebody who's been to prison or is in prison now, okay? So this, this person also holds a lot of grudges, bitterness, and does not let things go until he takes control and takes action towards what could stand in his way this is not a good person okay like this is not just somebody who snapped this is going to be part of this person's character um and the ecstasy tells me about again as i said down here um i believe ira and this roommate could have really taken away this person's not only freedom because it's talking about prison here too i believe this this person was also in prison before but it's also talking about prison right now as to the attitude that needs to be taken right now i believe that this guy could be in prison for something else right now too okay but he's also been to prison before so that's going to narrow it down i believe Ira knew this person, wasn't a friend friend, but was an acquaintance. And I believe that the reason he went after, um, went after Ira was the bitterness and the refusal to let go. Like Ira was, no, he was, I think he was determined to come forth with something that this person, it could have ruined this person's life or done some damage to this person's life, but there, it has to do with this person personally. Mm. 
It's all it's or what I renew could have sent him to prison because I'm getting the prison. So there's something there. This is bringing out a lot of information about the person that did this to Ira. Wow. Okay, this is the okay, action that needs to be taken. I'm getting thirst, seduction, and rebellion. There's a lot of manipulation going on. And I believe that this is the actions that the person who did this to Ira is, is taking. There's a lot of consult, compulsion and obsession going on with this guy. So he'll be overly um, compulsive and very obs uh, uh, obsessed with things. And that explains a lot coming from this and the prison. This is actually, I get a lot of um, luring and manipulation. So I do believe that even Ira could have been lured into meeting with this guy. And it was this guy's opportunity to take him out. Um, I also believe that Ira may have called for some kind of help or had told somebody um, what was going on and what he knew. And that's why that person was also, and I believe that's a roommate. Um, and the rebellion tells me that this guy was not going to let this happen. So the seduction to me in this instance tells me that he was lured and there was a lot of manipulation and still is going on. This guy is thirsty. Like he's obsessed with a lot of different things. And when he gets something in his mind, it, he doesn't change it. Okay, so the likely outcomes of what's going to be happening, I've got immortal. Okay, so this tells me that this person thinks that he can continue to get away from this, that he is um, safe from any kind of repercussions from his actions. I also got the transmission, okay, talking about um, conditions and the influence and the impacts that, that what he does has on the situation. And I've also got the jealousy. So I believe that he was also jealous of Ira for some reason. So this could also have to do with a female something that happened maybe with a female or a female that was present during an altercation or some kind of altercation regarding a female but the jealousy talks about um the envy and punishment and i believe that's what was put on to ira and there was a lot of jealousy this guy really had a jealous streak in him and i think he was jealous also of ira so this gives a lot of information regarding this person. So this person obviously knew Ira. Ira knew who he was. I don't think they were friendly. I believe Ira either had information or dealings with possibly even a female or a female that was also involved in a situation where Ira was going to come forth with it. And this guy was saying, you're not going to do it. I believe it has, it has something to do with he could have been sent to prison. Um, or he could be in prison even right now. But I also see that this guy has also been in prison before this happened to Ira, that he had done some prison time. So this guy is not a guy that you would want to associate with. And I would sleep with one eye open around him. I do feel that he lured um, Ira and that Ira could have called for help for to somebody this could be calling to help for the roommate or letting the roommate know the information that he knew but because of the knowledge that ira had regarding a situation that's why he was sacrificed and i believe that the roommate could also have been taken and sacrificed also wow okay so i'm going to do a few card pulls 
just to see if we can get a little bit more information. There's two that came out. So we got the transformation again here that we've already got here and we've got the exhaustion. So it's almost like um, this guy was fed up dealing with Ira and he wasn't going to take the chance of Ira spilling the beans. Look at this. Persuasion, caution, completion and danger. Yeah. So what I've got from this, you guys, is that this guy was like just getting exhausted with the transformations that have ta had taken place with finding out that Ira and possibly the roommate um, knew about this situation. And this could be either like a love-hate situation or it could be that Ira found out or was involved in a love triangle of some kind. But I do see some a female also being in this situation that caused Ira and the roommate I'm seeing now to go missing. Um, and I do believe that they have crossed over. Um, I think this person thought that he would get away with this, with what he did, but then found out that Ira knew about it or Ira was going to go um, to either this female or authorities or something. Um, I got the persuasion and caution. So I do believe that Ira maybe tried to persuade this guy to come forward and tell... I'm getting so confused by this. It's almost like Ira tried to convince this guy to do the right thing. And that just solidified in this guy's mind what he was going to do. He had to out. He had to get rid of the threat. I got the caution, the danger, and the completion. So um, I do still think that he lured Ira to a conversation um, under the pretense that they were going to talk about this. And... I don't see that happening. I see a transformation happening in this person's full of blood, like the angel's full of blood, that um, there was no persuading this guy to not do what he set out to do. I think that Ira, I got caution and danger and completion. So I think right away he knew once he got there that I also got the black crow here which tells me um, he couldn't escape. Once he met with this guy, that was it. His fate was sealed. And I believe that there could also be, with the danger and the caution, I believe that there's a weapon that was used, that was pulled on Ira, and that's why he couldn't escape the situation. And that's what completed the cycle of what happened here. I'm going to get maybe one or two more cards just to, um, regarding this guy. See, I got the revelation again, the discovery and the strength. Yeah, he overpowered um, Ira. And it was because he discovered, remember we had about the knowledge over here. Okay. This guy discovered that Ira had knowledge of whatever this situation was. And the the revelation the revolution with the transformation and the exhaustion and the persuasion all tells me that his fate was sealed when he met with this guy so this tells me a lot about the individual who did this to ira i do believe that this was an acquaintance this is not a good friend and i do believe that ira had some kind of knowledge of something that happened this could be a love triangle this could be him involved in a love triangle this could be something that ira knew happened and ira was going to come forth with it and that's why he was sacrificed okay and when i ask about this person who was involved with this with ira going missing 
it all tells me that this guy was not having no part of Ira coming forward with the information and knowledge that he had and had to be sacrificed. I got that this guy is not a good guy, could have previously been in jail, could be in jail now, or was afraid to go to jail for what if that information that Ira had came out. So he took things into his own hands. I believe that there was a weapon and I believe that um, he overpowered Ira. But this person is not, he's very aggressive. Um, he's not the type of person that people deal with because he's likable. It's because they're afraid of him. And that's what I'm getting here too. He's going to be like a misfit and a wanderer. Okay, so he might have either tried to take off from the area already, but I also got some manipulation. So he's trying to still manipulate the situation. So he could be telling false things to steer the investigation away from him. So he's going to be a master manipulator. He's not a very sympathetic or em he doesn't have a lot of empathy for people either. It's like somebody gets hurt and he's one to laugh about it. But I do see also the prison. So I think this was something serious that he could have went to prison for. And I believe that Ira and possibly Ira told the roommate and that's why they were targeted. But this person um, is going to know be known to be a very aggressive, violent person to begin with. Not very well liked. People just... Um, basically deal with them when they have to because they're afraid of him okay so which tells me this is his character and he's i'm getting he was in prison before so he has already done jail time and he could also be in jail now for something else he hasn't been caught for this yet but this is a master manipulator he's very aggressive he, he has a hard time controlling his temper um, and this isn't, like I said, this isn't somebody that Ira would have classified as a friend, just an acquaintance, somebody he knew. And I think Ira got caught up in this without realizing what he was being caught up in. Okay. And I think that he was going to speak about it and that's what caused his fate. Okay. So that's my updated read, you guys. I hope that this brings out a little bit more information regarding why this happened and who this person may be, okay? So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. Let's help get this out there. And I appreciate the cousins of Ira who requested me to do this updated read. I hope that this brings out a little bit more information. I think farther down the line, I may do um, a train read, which may be able to hone in on an area where he could be found. Okay, so that's my read. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and please stay safe. Bye-bye for now.